أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my brothers and sisters my brothers and sisters in Islam a lot of us today are celebrating Eid and Ramadan has come to its end and I believe I need to make this reminder for everyone my brothers and sisters I know a lot of reverts see when we're born we're born Muslim the definition of a Muslim is a person that submits his will to Allah a person that only worships Allah God alone he has no description he's not a statue he's not a man he is the creator of the heavens and the earth he every all worship belongs to him alone so to be a Muslim is to worship Allah alone God alone the Almighty alone not to associate any partners with a creation and to have belief in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as the final messenger all the prophets from Adam to Abraham to Moses to Jesus Christ peace be upon them all to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam their main message it, it's so simple it's so simple and it's common sense was to worship Allah alone that's it don't associate partners I know so many reverts throughout their lives they were associating partners with Allah they were worshiping man they were worshiping prophets they were worshiping statues and even when you tell them the message when I speak to a brother that's not a Muslim and I'll tell him brother you just worship Allah that's it he's not a human being he's not a creation he's the creator it doesn't go through his head because he's blind and he's misguided and he's lost so I can be talking to this person all day every day but if Allah does not guide him he will never be guided so the point of this reminder and the why I'm so emotional is is because once these people become guided they take the religion serious they go all out and a lot of them have become harvest they've memorized the memorized the Quran a lot of Muslim brothers and sisters that are born in this country they barely know uh, uh, a couple of verses of the Quran they know more lyrics of music than the Quran and you got reverts that from the age of uh, when they were babies to the age of in their 20s to 30s they don't even know what the Quran is but once they come to Islam they go all out because they even tell me there was something missing I didn't feel content and once they find the truth they swallow it and this is why Allah says the reverts the ones that come new to Islam they get double reward double reward because they weren't born into this religion just like me and you but my brothers and sisters today we're taking our deen for granted we're taking it for granted we are so lucky so lucky Allah chose us to this deen Allah chose for you to be Muslim to be born to Muslim parents and guided you you are lucky there are people out there they're not even guided they don't know who Allah is they've got the wrong conception of Islam and they're lost and today we've got brothers and sisters Muslim brothers and sisters born into Muslim families they're playing games with Allah Azzawajal. they're playing games with him they worship Allah only in Ramadan they worship Allah only in Jum'ah ah. and throughout the rest of the year they run marks Allah chose you to be a Muslim you know how lucky you are that Allah chose you he put you in a family that is Muslim he chose you to be Muslim he's basically saying to you here's a ticket to Jannah all you need to do is follow the guidelines here's a ticket for you my brothers and sisters Allah has given you a ticket this ticket is for you you're born into the deen of Islam the right religion he's given you a ticket to all those born in the Muslim family here's a ticket to Jannah all you need to do is follow the five pillars and follow my guidelines and I guarantee you Jannah but today my brothers and sisters we're taking it for granted we're picking and choosing what we want to do in the religion we're running amok we're saying not now not today tomorrow 
when I get married tomorrow, when I do a hajj, I'll patch everything up. We're doing haram left, right and center and we're not taking the religion seriously. And when someone like me or other brothers come along and we're trying to give our brothers and sisters reminders, we're looked at as extremist. My brothers and sisters, we are very, very lucky, extremely lucky. If you're praying today, you're not praying for Allah, you're praying for yourself. Know that if you're praying today, that's from the mercy of Allah. That's not from your own doing. Allah chose you. Allah chose you to worship Him. When you go to the mosque, my brothers, and you pray in the mosque, don't think in your mind. Don't try to comprehend in your mind, you know what, I did this myself. Habibi, today this morning when I was in the Fajr Mosque, it wasn't from my own doing. Allah chose me to be in the Fajr Mosque. Allah chose me today to pray. He chose me to pray. He chose me today to worship Him because He chose me to be guided. So my brothers and sisters, you need to understand, you're not doing Allah any favors when you worship Him. Don't think He is already Allah wa Akbar. Allah is the greatest. You're worshiping Him for yourself. And He chose you. He chose you from the billions of people out there. He chose you to worship Him. So that is the gift of Allah Azza wa Jal. When you give charity, don't think, oh, I gave a charity for my own will, from the kindness of my heart. Habibi, that money that's in your pocket, Allah gave it to you. And He's testing you with that money. He chose you to give in sadaqah. He chose you to worship Him. He chose you to fast. Let's not play games, my brothers and sisters. There are reverts out there, their whole lives. They didn't know what the deen was. They didn't know who Allah was. They were running mucks all their lives. And when they come to Islam, we even bag out the reverts. We have racism in our own religion. If the person is an Arab background, there's racism in our own deen, from our own culture. But in the deen of Islam, racism does not exist. The first person to call the Idan was Bilal. He was a black man. He was not an Arab. So racism in Islam does not exist. But today, culturally, we are racist. When a river that's Australian or Chinese or African, there's racism in the culture. They go, oh, you don't marry these people. It's very, very sad, my brothers and sisters. But in Islam, it does not exist. But in the culture, it exists. We're mixing our cultures with the religion. So my brothers and sisters, Ramadan is over. Shaitan's gonna come hard. He's coming hard. All that good you done throughout Ramadan, all that worship, all that time to when I went to the jail and I couldn't find parking, and now it's back to free parking. Don't let Shaitan ruin all that good work. He's coming to destroy your deen. He is a clear enemy. Beware, Shaitan is a clear enemy. He wants you to be in the hellfire with him. And on the day of judgment, you can't play dum dum. You can't say, oh, I didn't know, you know, Shaitan. Shaitan's gonna say, I've got nothing to do with it. I whispered, I invited. You chose to follow me. And on that day, you would be a slave to Shaitan, not a slave to Allah. Because you chose the path of Shaitan. You chose your temptations and your desires. You chose dunya instead of the akhirah. So, my brothers and sisters, your life. Don't, don't point the finger at everyone. I'm here because of him, her, he, this situation. Your life is up to you. You make the choice. Allah has given us the guidance. Allah has given us the messages. Allah has sent us reminders. We know the right from wrong. Don't choose dunya over deen. The choice is yours. The choice is yours, my brothers and sisters. Don't run amok now. Stay on the deen. Keep repenting to Allah Azza wa Jal. And know that as long, no matter what sin you do, as long as you keep repenting, as long as you keep praying, my brothers and sisters, as long as you keep doing the right thing, Allah will forgive. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guard this entire Muslim Ummah, to protect us from the Shaitan and to have mercy on us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.